Customer service. I'm sorry, I do not understand. Customer service. Could you please speak a bit louder? I said customer service. You are being rude, and I don't appreciate your tone. Customer service. Please try again later. Man, come on. And don't that just piss you off? So why do we get mad at a computer on the other end? Why do we allow things to make us so angry? Now, anger is a normal response to frustrating or difficult situations. Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Laird, licensed professional counselor, and I create videos on mental health and human behaviors. And in this video, I'll discuss anger, where it comes from, and how to identify your triggers and the cycle of anger. Anger is a choice. That's right, you have a choice whether to be angry or not. You are in control, not your anger. And your body, it responds to whatever instructions you send it when you're triggered. So let's talk about it. What is anger? Now, anger is one of several emotions, and according to the American Psychological Association, an emotion is a complex reaction pattern involving experiential, behavioral, and physiological elements. So in short, that's your past experiences, your behavior, and the chemicals that's released in your body in response to your thoughts. Have you ever been sad, happy, scared, nervous, filled with joy, grief, or anger. All of the aforementioned are emotions that are tied to your thoughts. As a person thinks, so are they. In other words, you are what you think you are. Now, anger is a choice that can be a silent but deadly quiet storm or an intense emotion you feel when something has gone wrong or someone has wronged you. Anger can become a natural reaction when your boundaries, your values, or your actions have been challenged or criticized. It can be caused by external situations, such as being cut off by a bad driver, being lied to, someone being rude or getting smart with you, or someone being taken advantage of. Anger can be a positive or a negative emotion, depending on how you manage it. It can help protect you and others from being unjustly treated. It can motivate you to improve in different aspects of your life, especially after making a poor choice. It can vary from mild irritation to intense rage and fury if it's not checked. Anger can cause serious damage to property or human beings. So check your anger. So the question is, where does anger come from? Are babies born angry? Where did they learn this emotion from? Think about that. When you were growing up, did you have anybody hollering at you, raising their voices or making threats verbally or physically? Albert Bandura, a world-renowned psychologist suggested that observation and modeling play a primary role in how and why people learn. Simply put, individuals learn through observing others' behaviors. Now, they say that the fruit don't fall too far from the tree. So a lot of our behaviors are learned through childhood or from childhood or during childhood. Angry behaviors can stem from what you learned as a child. And if you watch others in your family scream and holler, hit each other or make physical threats, you may have thought that was how anger was supposed to be expressed. Children are most likely to learn their angry behaviors from their environments. And as they progress in age, they learn to mask these emotions, right? Mask on. And as they continue to develop, their angry behaviors start showing up regularly, knocking on the door, especially when something occurs that they disagree with. Over the years, you've uploaded some codes of information, right? That says to default to anger if this occurs. So the codes go like this. Or the information states that if X happens, then do Y. For instance, if a driver cuts you off, that's X. Pull your car next to him and scream through the window, that's Y. Cause, effect, right? If someone raises their voice, that's X. Then you raise your voice louder, that's Y. These are codes that you have memorized already in your head. If they continue to raise their voice, that's X, then get in their face, that's Y. Now these are learned behaviors. Someone more than likely did one of the behaviors to you. And after years of anger showing up routinely, it became a habit. Now a habit by definition means performing behaviors automatically or routines practiced regularly without even thinking. Most positive and negative behaviors are based on those pre-programmed statements, codes, or information leading to habits or routines that you practice regularly without even thinking. 
that's a habit, right? Unconsciously, you do things without even thinking. So you can break the anger habit by learning your angry triggers. You must become aware of events and circumstances that trigger your anger. When I'm in counseling, people have told me, I just go ziggity boom, or I go from zero to a hundred without thinking. That's not true. Every limb in your body responds to commands given by the brain. And I want you to understand that anger has a cycle that you go through, right? It's a cycle. Remember I said earlier that you have codes that you've memorized that state if X happens, then do Y. Now the anger cycle starts with a triggering event. An event or situation triggers a person's angry behaviors, okay? Someone cuts you off while you're talking. That's the triggering event. You have this thought that says, wait a minute, did they just cut me off? You let it go and then they do it again. So you have negative thoughts. You say in your mind, no they didn't. Who do they think they are talking to me like that? Did they just try to punk me? And you have irrational or negative thoughts occur as a result of the triggering event. The emotional response is then you start to get in your feelings. That's the emotional response. And as we say in Michigan, you know, I'm feeling some type of way or I'm bothered right now, right? Negative thoughts lead to negative emotions. They disrespected me, cutting me off. They think that they're better than me. My opinion counts too. Then comes the physical symptoms, like your heart rate increase, right? Your breathing picks up. That's because the adrenaline is released in your bloodstream, preparing you for fight or flight mode. The body responds to the evaluation of the event, how you see it. Then comes the behavioral response. You scream, you holler, you make threats, and sometimes you carry them out. You react to the situation that leads to thoughts, feelings, physical symptoms, and behaviors all in a matter of seconds. It's a cycle that's going on. So you don't go ziggity boom or from zero to a hundred. You think through these processes. Now, let me give you a scenario. The triggering event, someone cuts you off while driving. The negative thought, you fool, you almost hit my car. You scared the bleep out of me. The emotional response, you become nervous with extra energy. The physical response, your heart is racing and you're shaking because of the adrenaline rush. The behavioral response, you drive up next to them, roll down your window, or you keep it up, and you cuss them out, and then you give them the number one signal all in a matter of seconds. And that's the anger cycle in a nutshell. Your angry behaviors are often triggered by irritation, frustration, and disappointment. It can also vary in intensity from mild annoyance to rage and fury. When you get angry, your heart rate and blood pressure increase, along with your energy and adrenaline levels. So do me a favor, please Stop. refrain from making decisions whenever you're angry. That's not the time. You need to calm down and think about it. Refrain from making decisions when you're angry. Not a good thing. That's how we get into these relationships. We get angry and we leave that person and we jump right back into another relationship. Don't make decisions when you're angry. Now anger is an emotion you control because your body responds to whatever instructions you send it. So when you're triggered, your body will do whatever you're thinking. Anger can become a natural reaction when your boundaries, your values, or actions have been challenged or criticized. It can be a positive or negative emotion, depending on how you manage it. You can learn to manage your anger positively by identifying and stopping the habit of routinely following those pre-programmed codes or information. You break the habit by becoming aware of the event and circumstance that trigger your anger. Remember, you don't roll out of bed looking to crush someone. You don't wake up pissed off just smacking everybody in sight. No, anger has a cycle you go through before the behavior shows up. It starts with the triggering event, what you see, followed by the negative thoughts, then an emotional response, followed by the physical symptoms, and then the behavioral response. So the next time you get angry, review the process and see if you can identify the cycle. Now I have another video coming out soon on anger management. And if you enjoyed this video, comment in the section below. Please subscribe to the channel so it can grow. Like the video, give me a thumbs up, and share it with someone you think can benefit. Also, if you have other topics of interest that you would like for me to discuss, please leave them in the comment section below. As again, that's all I have for now. Thank you for your time and your support. Life is what you make it. Remember that. Life is what you make it, and you can't blame nobody else. Remember, the more you know, the more you grow. God bless you, and have a wonderful life.